Hello dear students. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some examples of aneuploidy in plants and animals. In the previous lecture, we have discussed in detail what is aneuploidy. Uh, let us revise what we had discussed in previous lecture. So, as we have discussed, heteroploidy includes euploidy and aneuploidy. And aneuploidy is classified in hyperploidy and hyperploidy. Hyperploidy uh, has examples like monosomy and nullisomy. And hyperploidy has examples of trisomy and tetrasomy. So, how do we define aneuploidy? Aneuploidy is the numerical change in chromosome number is such that it is exact multiple of basic chromosome number and the individuals are called aneuploids. It is of two types, hypoploidy and hyperploidy. Let us discuss the first example of aneuploidy in plants and this is uh, trisomy in dhatura. So the first example we are discussing today is trisomy in dhatura. Now trisomics are those organisms we have which have one extra chromosome and we have already discussed in previous lecture that they are represented by 2n plus 1. Trisomics were obtained for the first time in the Tura Stremonium which is called Jimson Wheat by AF Blackalcy and uh, the Tura has somatic number as 24 so the gametic number is 12. Since the extra chromosome which is 2n plus 1 uh, chromosome, 2n plus 1 means plus 1 chromosome will lead to formation of trisomics in Dhatura. So if it is uh, somatic number is 24, trisomics will have 25 chromosomes. Since the extra chromosome may belong to any one of the different chromosomes of a haploid complement, the number of possible trisomics in an organism will be equal to its haploid chromosome number. So we had discussed in the previous lecture that trisomics are represented by 2n plus 1. Plus 1 represents the extra chromosome. Now this extra chromosome can belong to any of the homologous chromosome. The chromosome complement of Dhatura is 2 because it has two sets of chromosome and gametic number is 12. So there are 12 chromosomes uh, which are in gametes. Now these 12 chromosomes are present in uh, bivalent condition in somatic cells. So when we consider how many kinds of uh, trisomy in the Tura are found, so there are of three kinds, primary trisomics, secondary trisomics and tertiary trisomics. In primary trisomics, trisomics uh, are those where the extra chromosome is identical to two homologous chromosomes. Since the Tura has 12 gametic numbers, so there are 12 primary trisomics possible because this extra chromosome can belong to any of the homologous pair. These 12 chromosomes are present in 12 pairs. So 12 into 2 becomes 24. And if the extra chromosome is there, then this may belong to any of the homologous pair. That is why in the Tura, 12 primary trisomics are possible. So what are primary tri trisomics? Primary trisomics are where extra chromosome is identical to homologs and there are 12 primary trisomics possible in the Tura. Now what are secondary trisomics? In secondary tri trisomics, the extra chromosome is an isochromosome where both the arms are genetically similar. Since one chromosome has an upper arm and lower arm, and since one chromosome has upper arm and lower arm, so one in from one chromosome, two homologous or uh, two isochromosomes are poss possible. Since the Tura has gametic number as 12, so there are 24 kinds of uh, secondary trisomics possible in the Tura. So there are 24 secondary trisomics in the Tura which were found. What are tertiary trisomics? Tertiary trisomics 
are those where the extra chromosome is a product of translocation and translocation occurs between non homologous chromosomes since uh, there are many possibilities because of a uh, translocation so there are large number of tertiary trisomies which are possible in the thora and most how do we define these how do we identify these trisomics so most of the trisomics are identified by size shape and other morphological features and t shuya studied extensively trisomy series in barley and if you see these are different kinds of um the different tri these uh, in this picture you can see that these are all uh, representing the trisomy trisomics of dhatura which are uh, shown as different morphology okay so this was the first example of uh, trisomy or aneuploidy in and here you can see how they are represented so in primary trisomic you can see that the extra chromosome which uh, is exactly similar to the two homologs in secondary chromosome uh, in secondary trisomic you can see that the third chromosome has both arms as uh, two 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 representing the lower arm and in the similar manner this third chromosome or the extra chromosome can have upper and lower arm as only one one uh, re represented by upper arm in tertiary trisomics you can see that it is a product of extra chromosome is a product of translocation and there are many possibilities because of translocation so if you see this picture the first picture of the thura represents normal and normal uh, is your normal means that it is represented by the more normal morphology so this if you see this is your normal and uh, globe this is a trisomy and represented by 2n plus 1 and cock labior is also a trisomic and this is also represented by 2n plus 1 but if you see the morphology these two are showing different morphologies and so if you see what are the kinds of trisomics which are uh, which we can find in the dura these are raw glossy buckling elongate echinus coclavior uh, microcarpic reduced spinach the uh, globe ilexics etc so they are all humans. so we identified uh, know by that humans are 46 chromosomes and in females they are represented as 22 pairs of autosomes plus xx as sex chromosome and in males it, they are represented by 22 pairs of autosomes plus xy as sex chromosomes now this is the first example of aneuploidy in humans which is represented by down syndrome and if you can see here that in uh, down syndrome is ge uh, represented genetically by trisomy of 21st chromosome so down so syndrome is represented by trisomy of 21st chromosome uh, it is an autosomal disorder. Down syndrome is also called Mongolism because it was first of all observed in Mongolian tribes. It is an autosomal disorder represented by 47 chromosomes and plus 21 condition because it is showing trisomy in 21st chromosome. Uh, it results due to failure of 21st chromosome uh, and uh, due, due to non disjunction of uh, 21st chromosome. 21st chromosome is present in triplicate condition and due to non disjunction of chromosome during oogenesis this uh, syndrome happens the person with this disorder has 47 chromosomes instead of 46 as we can see and this is another picture showing this picture of a child who is suffering from down syndrome and you can see that the child has uh, these morphological features broad forehead short neck flat hands stubby fingers permanently open out projecting lower lip longer uh, long extending tongue feeble minded adult mongols have a mental age not exceeding that of a child of a six or seven and internal organs like heart and tongue have some deformities most mongoloid patients do not attain sexual maturity and fertility the second example of aneuploids in human is turner syndrome which is represented by exo condition so you can see that turner syndrome here you this is this is representing x uh, here it is only x chromosome and there is 
the other x is missing that is why this is turner syndrome and uh, due to abnormality of six chromosomes total chromosomes are 45 which are represented by 22 pairs plus xo occurs due to presence of only one x chromosome in females and represented by 45 uh, chromosomes plus exo condition short these females have short stature sexual growth and development is retarded uh, resulting st in sterility there may not be ovulation and menstruation in females webbing or loosening of the skin of neck and approximately one in three thousand births is a turner syndrome and so you can see here that the third syndrome which we are discussing is Klinefelter syndrome which is represented by XXY condition and due to this is due to abnormality of sex chromosome total chromosomes are 47 um, and it occurs the condition is 44 plus XXY it occurs due to presence of an extra chromosome may in males such as XXY and they have feminine secondary sexual characters long limb sterility is due to degeneration of seminiferous tubules it is present in testes and mental retardation limited or poor intelligence uh, r is of intelligence level of these individuals the next syndrome which we are discussing uh, is edward syndrome which is represented by trisomy of 18 chromosome and uh, these children they have low birth weight small abnormally shaped head which is called microcephalic condition and the frequency is birth defects in organs uh, one in eight eight thousand births um, they have uh, this edward syndrome and this was discovered by john edward so you can see here in karyotype this is showing trisomy of 18th chromosome so if we read again this is trisomy of 18th chromosome they have low birth rate small abnormally shaped head birth defects in organs one in eight thousand births discovered by john Edwards, the infants are smaller than average bones and they have uh, the scales are elong uh, skull are elongated in an anterior posterior direction webbed neck uh, average survival time is less than four months and death is caused by pneumonia or heart failure the last syndrome which we are discussing is Patau syndrome this is due to trisomy of 21st chromosome this was discovered by klaus Patau, and affected infants are not mentally alert and thought to be deaf they have polydactyly and generally the frequency is uh, 1 in 19,000 births and generally born to older so you can see here the karyotype of the uh, Patau syndrome where there is trisomy of 30, 13th chromosome and here you can see uh, the child suffering from Patau syndrome so these are some of the uh, syndromes which are which we uh, explain or which we discuss in aneuploid in humans so in plants we discuss the Tuda and in animals we can discuss all these syndromes i hope you have understood this topic and you can refer different books of genetics like peers genetics um, by uh, griffiths genetics by uh, Snustad, clump uh, clug and cummins for understanding this topic more thank you students meet uh, let us meet in next lecture